Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix Safari can't open a page because the address is invalid. Now, the error looks something like this. Safari cannot open the page because the address is invalid. I'm gonna walk you through a few different steps that you can go through to get this fixed and get you able to access that web page that you're trying to access. Now, the very first thing we'll do is we'll open up Safari. And if it's telling you this error, potentially the issue is because you've mistyped the web address of whatever website you're trying to find. So the very first thing is just make sure that you have the right URL that you're trying to access. So I would just recommend going to Google here. And then on Google, type in whatever web page that you're trying to access. So let's do Facebook. And potentially maybe you've mistyped the Facebook URL, but if you go to Google and type in Facebook, then you can tap on Facebook and that should open up. Well, it opened up. Let's tap on the help center there. So tap on whatever web page you're trying to access from Google and see if that fixes it because potentially it was just a mistype URL. If it's not, then I'll have a few different steps that you can walk through. The first thing that we'll do is we'll get into settings and let's get out of here. Let's scroll down until we get to Safari and tap on Safari. And then we'll scroll down again towards the very bottom, you can see advanced at the very bottom. We'll tap on that and then tap on website data at the very top. This will load up with all of the website data and cache and cookies that are on your iPhone. And we will want to press the button at the very bottom, remove all website data. So this will clear out all of the cache and cookies and potentially this was the reason why you were having trouble connecting to that web page. So once we've done that, the very next step that we'll want to do is run a quick speed test on your phone to make sure that your internet is working and you're able to access something. So on Safari or Google Chrome or whatever, access a speed test here on Google and just hit run speed test. Oh, retry. So run a quick speed test to see if your internet is fast enough to be able to load a web page. Anything over five or 10 megabytes per second should be plenty fast enough to be able to load the web page. And that shouldn't be the reason why you're getting this error that the address is invalid. So once you go through those steps, if it's still not working, you're still not able to access that web page. Let's go back to settings here and go to general. And then at the bottom, we will want to tap on transfer or reset iPhone and then tap on reset. From here, we'll choose reset network settings. This will refresh all of the connections to Wi-Fi as well as any cellular data connections and it should get everything working so that you're connected to the internet and able to access that web page, even though the, it might say the address is valid, it should be working now and you shouldn't have any issues. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.